Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Test Play Little King's Story. Um, before we begin, Alex, I'd uh, like to tell you something. I've, I've been having the hardest time recording widescreen videos because my TV is not a widescreen one, so it looks all squished. But uh, there's this neat little glitch that happens sometimes is that the TV goes into sort of like a letterbox mode. But um, yeah, it happens rarely. I mean, I, I can't really do it. I mean, it seems to have. Okay, the volume is a bit too loud. I'll fix that. Anyway, Little King's story, uh, I believe, just came out. It's like, uh, re reminds me a lot of Pikmin. And it is a pretty good game, but unfortunately my, yeah, I just did. Unfortunately, my GameStop still doesn't have it because of some shipping issues. So I'm using a quote-unquote backup copy. I don't... I'm not sure where that thing at the bottom is. I mean, what is that? I don't know. Okay, I'm seeing something like right here in the capture thing. It was like a something red at the bottom that doesn't show on my TV because my TV screwed up. Anyway, because this is a quote-unquote backup, uh, loading times are a bit slow and stuff. Because I won't get into detail, but I will be buying this game when it comes to GameStop, which is supposedly going to get there tomorrow because there's uh, a huge shipment because of Wii Sports Resort. And the guy told me, "Well, if we see any copies of Little King's Story, we'll call you and we'll uh, make sure you get it." And I was like, "Oh, thank you and stuff." So yeah, what you, what you do in Little King's Story is you build your kingdom and stuff. Like, okay, look at this little cute cow. Isn't the cutest cow ever? Okay, let's go out. So you have some goals in the game, like, uh, for example, right now, okay, you, hold on, I forgot to check the suggestion box. The suggestion box is like a quest uh, box, you know, like, you'll see in a minute. Suggestion box. And so you get letters and stuff. Right now I don't have any. And they tell you like, oh, I saw this giant frog, and you need to go beat it. Like here's a here's the one that that I cleared the graveyard room or something about a skull. I mean a cow and something about a giant frog. And then just normal mail like, hey, I uh, will recommend you redecorated the kingdom and good day to you and we love you. Hooray, hooray, hooray! That's the like the best letter I would have gotten. Anyway, let's go out and battle some monsters and we need to get some treasure too. So you start the game up with Little King, and you get a bunch of carefree adults, which they're not these, these are farmers. So what you do is you uh, you build like these centers to convert them into warriors. This one's the warrior one, this one's the farmer one, and this, these are houses. This is the digestion box, and this, this is the carpenter's one. So each adult, for example, if uh, these ones are carefree. They don't have any um, special clothing, they're just wandering around with their white clothes. So you can recruit them with B, like that. And so, you, let's say you want to make uh, the lady a carpenter, so we go into... Well, actually, not a carpenter, because that costs money. We can get into the uh, farmer, and you just uh, press A, and she'll go into the house and turn into a farmer. There we go. And the man, we can turn him into a warrior, so we press A, he goes into the little thingy and he comes out as a warrior and that's great. A grunt soldier though called. Okay, so our main objective today is uh, to build a a, 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 bread, a a bridge. So we need to conquer some land. And my volume is a bit too loud again, damn it. Okay, that's like the perfect volume. I like to hear the sounds too, but anyway. We're gonna need like four carpenters. I'm gonna just call four carefree adults and turn these ones into carpenters. Turning adult into profession sometimes costs like right now the only one that costs is a carpenter one the old, the other ones are free but for example if you send someone in it'll cost you like 50,000 whatever the game's currency is to turn them into carpenters like that you see at the bottom right corner they take away my money and you do that and you turn them into carpenters so what carpenters do is you can send them out to little signs with hammers and they just go and build something depending on where it is you can also send farmers to help, but if you send a soldier to help, it will not help. It will just destroy the thing for some reason, because it's dumb. So let's get some farmers 
Uh, on the bottom left corner, you can see how many people I can recruit. You can increase that by buying badges. So right now we're going to have four carpenters and four farmers to go along. And uh, you can switch in which ones you want to quote-unquote throw first by placing that down on the D-pad. You can choose carpenters or farmers first. So I'm probably going to pick carpenters. Hey, look carefully at all. I'm going to turn you into something later. So yeah, um, there's a little... Uh, progress pie chart on top, which kind of reminds me of Pikmin. This game is very rem reminiscent of Pikmin, actually. Okay, so once they're done with the basic structure, you can send farmers in, and they'll okay, wooden bridge. And they'll do some crazy stuff like throwing something into the water, and I'm not really sure what that is. I think they're throwing wood or something, and apparently that helps. So okay, once the bridge is done, uh, when you go out to explore new areas, what you have to do first is get some warriors to help, because you obviously find some enemies. The enemies in this game are called UMA or UMA. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But yeah, they're like these crazy little creatures. So, okay, we're gonna get four warriors, two carpenters, and two farmers. Okay, that's two carpenters gone. Now we need to get rid of two farmers by recruiting other two soldiers, Mike and the other guy. There you go, that's my perfect little team. Probably not, because I got rid of all my carpenters. So, yeah, right now my priorities are. Uh, defeat the UMA and get some more stuff. So you guys come over here. We might find some stairs or something. So now that the bridge is completed, we can go through and look for stuff like treasure. For example, these little guys are called only, called only or something. I don't really know, remember what. But anyway, you can press Z to uh, lock onto stuff and then throw your knights at it. They'll fight. You can also throw farmers and carpenters, but they won't do a, uh, as much damage that the warriors do. And you get items, and the items you get, uh, you get money for that. And you get rocks, and you get trees, and you get horns, and they're all worth something. So if you see those little holes, the best thing is to send farmers in or carefree adults. Farmers do a better job because they they uh, dig faster. Oh my god. Okay, you can also find little enemies in the holes like that. Just go and fight them off, I guess. Oh, those days where I can't talk to. Anyway, um, switch to farmers, and you can... Farmers. Farmers! Okay, there we go. You can send them in. Okay, someone else is in there. I think you can send carpenters in, too. Yeah, and you get gold bars. Gold bars are, uh, worth more than the normal treasures. You can also get gold coins, gold bags. But the gold bars are worth the most. Because that's what I think. That's the only thing I found besides coins and bags. I don't really know how much the rocks worth. My first time finding them. So you can send. Okay, you can also press B to retreat. It's sort of like pulling your Pikmin. If something goes wrong or if you're if they're scattered all over the place, you can press B and it'll come back to you. And yes, they can die too. For example, right on the screen, they tell you the things that's happening in life. For example, right now, Chad croaked, which is a quote unquote hip saying of you die. You can't really revive them. Sometimes they according to the game, sometimes dead people will show up on the beach. Which I haven't that happened to me yet. But uh, if you're low on health, you see the little health icon on the top. You can uh, you can replenish their health by th sending them sending them to sleep or sending them to bathe in a hot spring, which is like mother three. Still, so for example, right now I'm gonna heal. Uh, I'm gonna heal up because it seems that we only okay. We're not that damaged, but if it, there's someone that has like one little circle of health, so we're gonna send them off to bathe in the hot spring. Not sure why these bushes are in the way, but I got a plant out of that and a good plant. So this is the hot spring. You just send them over like that. They'll bathe for a while. Get a little. Health octagons, I mean hexagons will. Is, is that a hexagon? Yeah. They'll replenish and stuff. And you can send them back. And we're missing a carpenter, so. I'm gonna look for a carpenter because the one we had died. This is something I don't like. You have to look for your members of your team. They're scattered all over the city, and sometimes you don't know. I hear that uh, you can build a podium later on, and that fixes things by. You can call your all your troops instead of looking for them. 
But I haven't gotten to that point yet, so I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm basically doing this to see if this game's less playable, but I don't really think it is, because there's a, a lot of things to do, and it's not like Pikmin. I mean, kind of plays like Pikmin, but it's not Pikmin. Oh my god, we're over the time limit already. Uh, we're like 10 minutes in, this is so much fun, I didn't even notice. So, I will, okay, wrong pause. I'll be with you in a bit.